Hello, welcome back to the James Rowland Reviews for yet another episode, and in today's episode I'm actually going to be reviewing this recent movie called Old Dads that came out on Netflix a couple of days ago, which is directed by Bulba. But before I get into my thoughts, before I get into the plot and what it's all about and all that kind of stuff, I obviously have to give you a bit of context and a bit of background. So when it comes to this kind of stuff, right, I do like comedy movies, I do like my stand-up, like, I do enjoy Bill Barr, definitely. And so once you kind of understand that I do like comedy movies, and I also did watch the trailer, which I was kind of interested by this movie, right, like, I'm somebody that kind of doesn't really get why there's this PC culture stuff going on, and you'll understand why that's relevant. So I was unsure about this PC culture stuff and all this political correctness, so when it came to this movie, it made that very interesting to me, that they would be making fun of all this kind of stuff. So pretty much what this movie, Old Dads, is about, it's about Bilba and a few of these other actors who play these old dads who pretty much go through life being out of touch and failing to understand why Gen Z and stuff like that are doing all this stuff and all the political correctness, all the double standards, right? So for example, you'd have like how this one person in the movie is like, oh, I like NWA but I don't want to say the N-word, oh, you said this thing and that's offensive and it's kind of playing on that kind of stuff. The movie is all also about an hour and 40 something minutes and so you kind of get that where it's about that stuff, about the Gen Z versus kind of Gen X stuff. So how do I feel about the movie, right? So obviously we have to mention the fact that when it comes to a comedy film, is it actually funny? Yes, there is a few points where I did find the jokes funny. It was kind of self-aware and it kind of realised what it was trying to do, what message it was trying to bring across to the screen and the audience and stuff like that. But there's another factor in here that I've got to mention is that I feel like the runtime is just a little bit too long for me. Like when it comes to this movie... We have this kind of interesting concept at the surface here, but then it drags on for a bit and there's all these random things that happen out throughout the movie where they'd be going to the strip club or they'd be going to meet their partners and stuff like that. So it's kind of these random tacked on things to extend the running time out, which made absolutely no sense for me. I don't know why the movie had to go on for so long. And also, there are a couple times, or a few times even, or maybe even more than that, where it does get a bit cliche and a bit obvious. Like, this is something that I've seen a million times before in a comedy movie, and that's kind of how I felt about it. So, what would I give this movie out of 10? Maybe like a 6 out of 10. I did see that the critics gave it a 19%, but that's simply because the critics don't like when there's a movie ripping on their culture and stuff like that, ripping on PC culture and things of that nature and also to kind of add on to that, right, the whole PC culture thing and the humour and stuff like that, the the movie doesn't go too hardcore on the jokes either, like they're kind of just surface level jokes where, you know, it's not too offensive and it's not too offensive to the point where it will get well well cancelled if that makes sense. So once you kind of understand that this movie's not a perfect comedy but I still sort of had a good time with it. It's kind of like a mixed bag, I guess you could say. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of different kind of random review of the James Rambon reviews. I hopefully will be reviewing something before the end of October to get into that kind of Halloween-y sort of feel. And if you want to tune in to the new episode of the James Rambon show, you can absolutely do that. So I will, I will end the review here. So let me know if you've actually watched this movie or not. Give your thoughts in the comments if you like this new Bill Bar movie. What did you think about it? Stuff like that. So yeah, see ya for another review. This might be another sh- kind of shorter review. We'll hopefully go back to a weekly schedule for the review show. We just kind of wanted to throw this in here because I watched the movie and wanted to talk about it. So yeah, bye, 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 bye.